our objective is to schedule the given processes using rate monotonic scheduling RMS and earliest deadline first EDF algorithms and compare the number of contexts which is required for each. Step 1. Understand the scheduling algorithms minus rate monotonic scheduling RMS is a priority algorithm that assigns priority based on the period of the task. The shorter the period, the higher the priority. Minus earliest deadline first EDF scheduling assigns priority based on the closest deadline. The task with the nearest deadline gets the highest priority. Step 2. List the processes with their execution time and deadlines minus poem. Time equal to 1 deadline equal to 5 minus P2. Time equal to 1 deadline equal to 10 minus P3. Time equal to 2 deadline equal to 20 minus 4. Time equal to 10 deadline equal to 50 minus 5. Time equal to 7 deadline equal to 100. Step 3. Schedule using RMS minus assigned priorities based on the period. In this case, the deadline is considered as the period since it's periodic. The shorter the period, the higher the priority. Minus priorities. Pwn P2, P3, Fair 5 minus schedule assuming a hyper minus period or schedule in window of LCM of deadlines. But for simplicity, let's consider the first 50 units of time. Minus 0, minus 1. Pwn minus 1, minus 2. P2, minus 2, minus 4. P3 minus 4 minus 14, fair minus 14 minus 15. Pwn repeats every 5 units minus 15 minus 16. P2 repeats every 10 units minus 16 minus 18. P3 repeats every 20 units minus 18 minus 28. Fair continues as it has the longest execution time minus continue this pattern, filling in Pwn P2 and P3 based on their periods. Step 4. Schedule using EDF minus assign priorities based on the closest deadline. Minus initially, all tasks are ready, so Pwn has the earliest deadline. Minus schedule, minus 0, minus 1, Pwn minus 1, minus 2, P2 next earliest deadline, minus 2, minus 4, P3 minus 4, minus 14, Fair since 5 has a longer deadline, Fair is chosen next, minus 14, minus 15, Pwn repeats due to its deadline, minus 15, minus 16, P2 minus 16, minus 18, P3 minus 18, minus 25, 5-5 five five is chosen before fair because, at this point, its remaining time to its deadline is shorter than fair's remaining time to its next deadline minus 25 minus 35. Fair continues minus continue this pattern, adjusting based on the closest deadlines. Step 5. Compare context switches minus count the number of switches from one process to another in both schedules. Minus RMS, the context switches occur every time a process completes or when a higher priority process preempts a low priority one. In the RMS schedule, context switches are more predictable based on the fixed priorities. Minus EDF, the number of context switches can vary more significantly since priorities change based on the deadline. Each time a task completes or a new task becomes the one with the earliest deadline, a context switch occurs. Minus without a detailed timeline for the full hyper minus period. An exact count is not provided here, but generally, EDF might have more context switches due to the dynamic nature of deadline minus base priorities. Conclusion RMS provides a more predictable pattern of execution with fixed priorities, while EDF adapts to the most urgent deadlines, potentially leading to more context switches. The choice between RMS and EDF depends on the specific requirements for predictability and responsiveness in a given system.